in our method of a stock valuation we use the indonesian government bond yield is the most uh, important factor uh, beside the internal uh, company fundamental you see in this chart it's between 2008 uh, 2006 and 2010 you see the indonesian government bond yield growing up or the increasing very sharp in the year between uh, 2008 and 2009 especially uh, end of 2008 the rate uh, almost increased to to 22 percent which is uh, very high and at that time the market or the price of the stock were crashed compare uh, Indonesian government bond yield uh, with the other uh, country in the region Indonesia plays the second highest after India and the rest is uh, country like China Thailand Malaysia Australia and Singapore they're all below uh, 5% uh, rate next we compare uh, analysis fundamental and technical fundamental basically we call it the basic fundamental and then first valuation calculator fundamental like us so in the basic fundamental they obtain the financial data from the authorities but they skip auditors notes and uh, case flow and from our calculation from our method we cannot calculate without auditors notes because in that uh, note we can find the capital expenditure and also the increase or decrease in the fixed asset so uh, if we ignore it so we cannot get the comprehensive calculation in the technical side they just use price chart which is uh, formed in the high, low, and then close. So the next comparison is the buying stock is same as a buying a company regardless the volume of the stock, which is the same uh, between uh, fundamental basic and uh, our fundamental. But in the technical, buying stock is basically is based on sentiment supply and demand in the market so next one is use of a uh, method of uh, EBITDA which is uh, quite popular uh, in the uh, analy analysis in the market so they ignore capital expenditure and the liquidation value from our point of view we combine free cash flow and surplus and deficit on the balance sheet using the liquidation value in the technical side they just combine the different charts which is formed by candlestick, Bollinger Band and etc. So the next one is the fundamental basic. They use so many and complex financial ratio and necessary is not applicable to find the intrinsic value. In our focus it's just a review financial ratio like return on equity and etc we go more uh, deeper uh, later so it is uh, very useful to obtain the intrinsic value of the stock in the technical uh, approach they use the combination of chart price chart volume pattern and sometimes and most of the time it doesn't work during the bearish time next differences from the view of the basic fundamentally they use no formula to obtain intrinsic value and they stress more on the qualitative analysis not in the quantitative analysis that's uh, different than us we focus more on the quantitative 
analysis and also qualitative analysis as well. We use internal and internal factor. External factor being the government bond yield and margin of safety. And from the technical side, price chart is being formed without any fundamental data. They just pure market sentiment. Next one is the decision to trade from the fundamental basic point of view is based on qualitative and incomplete and uncertain quantitative data of the company. But in our point of view, we use transformation of the intrinsic value from quarter to quarter. Moreover, we change daily by using the, sen the, the sentiment of the market on the view of the government bond yield fluctuation. From the technical side, decision was mostly based on daily price trend. So how about price fluctuation in the view of the fundamental basic uh, point of view? They use it as uh, rumors, news, industry changes, macroeconomic changes, and the basic data, which is the financial ratio and EBITDA. But in our view, fluctuation as a result of intrinsic value changes, intrinsic value uh, fluctuation, this being computed and produced by stock valuation calculator because we use the company financial data. From the technical point of view, price fluctuation is a result of confirmation of the rumors, global changes, industry changes, macroeconomics, and the lastly is the basic financial data, financial ratio and EBITDA, and the rest would be some speculation in the market. In the fundamental basic point of view, they don't use any tool or a such tool, only uncertain feeling as a basis to make a decision, which is very risky. In our point of view, we use a tool, we call it stock valuation calculator, that enable user to modify six fundamental parameters. We go next to the what we call it the stock valuation uh, simulator. We can simulate the nine fundamental parameter. From the technical side, some price charts are always used as a tool to predict the future. There are two approaches on the fundamental analysis, first being the top-down approach, second one is the bottom-up approach. Top-one approach, we call it general approach, is commonly used in the market. People uh, more like to use this one. First one is determining the investment risk level. Second one is determining the right financial instrument. And next one is to predict the future by uh, using the macro uh, approach, qualitative approach. So what factor determining the, the prediction? First is future prospect, whether the global industry and then go down to the company. Next would be supply and demand in the industry. How strong? purchasing power, how strong the demand, how ready the industry supply. Next one, the management of the company, how strong the leader, how strong the CEO to run the company, how strong the sales team, how strong the research and development team. Next one is the, the market sentiment, which, which is price, volume, and the cost. 
Next one is uh, the bottom-up approach that we use to form the stock valuation calculator tool. What we do uh, in this approach is the primary using the financial report analysis, audited format, long list. We see the company prospect through the management, how they run the business. And the last one is protection. We focus on the the performance of the financial based on the financial report in the quarterly basis. We use the period of medium to long term, minimum one year period to make the analysis whether to, we make a decision to buy, hold and sell. And next we concern of the what stock selling price, what price is it below our intrinsic value which is considered undervalued stock and we put an adequate margin of safety concept we use it 30% the same as what Benjamin Graham and Warren Buffett uh, use and the last one being a defensive investor we non-aggressive investor or follow the market we better off being behind the screen investor so basically the old philosophy protect your downside and then the upside will take care of itself again we see the indonesian stock market composition the market is comprised of the several industry. We have uh, divided in the less than 10 sectoral and the leader in the value of the transaction in 2011 is the mining, financial and banking and manufacturing. But today the mining sector is declining because the declining of the commodity price in the world this slide show you the analysis of the industry sector we take example of the coal mine uh, businesses this is included in our stock valuation calculator tools they provide some analysis like that so basically, we offer you few what's happening in the market, how the player reacted, how the government agency ruled the market, how the market or the consumer reacted, how the competition being formed, and etc. Next slide is the key factor of the stock valuation. We divide it into both internal and external. Internal being, of course, what's happening in the company, financial. Mostly what is earning after tax, how much depreciation and amortization, how much they pay out the dividend out of the shareholder what the value of the current asset and what is non-recurring gain and losses how much they spend for the capital expenditure and the key is the projection of the cash flow future cash flow the internal factor we see the interest rate we see the central bank rate, government bond yield, for 10, 15 years, tenor. How much the inflation, consumer price index, how much the commodity, commodity price, like energy price level, any technology changes, and etc. 
The other key factor is the qualitative aspect. Is first of all is how we identify the product. Is there quite strong franchise or quite strong brand compared to the competition? And then how strong our distribution network and how we compete with the rest of the player in the market. Uh, the next one is the analysis on the industry. What we see the trend, the global trend of the such industry and how the government regulate the market. How other player supporting this industry if we in the automobile business how big the component industry supporting us Sec next one is the the labor how much the labor cost and then the word ethic this the key factor for the human capital management 